the formidable robot. Now some of you are confused as to why there is an experiment called, the disfiguring experiment, and have no context to what it means, don't tie yourself in a knot. You and most other people are not alone on this as nobody really knew about this before I came to write about it, not even myself at the time and I'll explain how I have knowledge of it later. Now the name is not at all what you're thinking however, it has that specific name for a reason, and the story about the experiment and its title is one I suggest that you bring a trash bin with you. The disfiguring experiment was nearly a 20 year long experiment, ran by a large and spread out organization named, Detraxi Americani. Rumored to be scattered all over the United States of America that committed acts of torture and second degree murder on them, which involves breaking and twisting the victim's limbs in the most impossible ways for an average human being, or worse, sawed off. They would even mutilate your face till it was unrecognizable, and would start sawing open the skull to take out the entire brain and which they carefully scoop it out and pack them into a nice chest for them to dissect through them. It got in them lots of money when they spread this to deep web gore websites and were able to rake in over a million dollars worth in cash because of it. It wasn't long before in 2006, the police eventually found two of the locations in Scottsdale, Arizona and in Chicago, Illinois. They would be interrogated with only one out of all people actually giving small details about their organization. Their motives are to prove that the main and powerful leaders that run America are evil and malicious beings that know about something that everyone else is unaware of, a piece of the human brain that no scientist could never find, and something horrifying, they claimed that is just as sick as what they are doing to others. A piece of the brain that can easily manipulate people regardless of the size. It is what gets people in the country to fight over each other in politics, lures innocent people into politics and help them win world leadership and become the most powerful human being in the world. Of course nobody took their claims seriously and brushed it off as an excuse to continue their sick crimes. With only two found at the moment, it would take about almost 12 more years to eventually find all of them and shut down the illegal operation, from everything they've learned. They figured out who started the business who went by the name of KR, who was also the ringmaster of making several alt accounts to make gore videos as a way to hide her footprints. Now how I got that information was because I was involved in the crime scene and the interrogation, and I think after a good five years of it being closed down, I feel like warning everyone and somewhat teaching you guys to mind about your surroundings. Why is this news to everyone now after I just told you about this story? Well because of the sick story behind the murders and the most diabolical operation held for nearly 20 years, they hid the information from everyone else in the world to prevent any involvement with the organization, and try to hide any knowledge of any murders from that organization, making the victims completely erased from any of their family's memories and it's like they never exist. I am not at all worried if I get caught for telling disclosed information because I quit the job almost a year ago, and it's about time everyone knew about it, but I pray it doesn't happen again in the near future. Hopefully, we all do.